everyone, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at lesson 4.3, solving inequalities using multiplication and division. This one is a little bit um, longer, so we will be writing eight things down today in your notes. Let's go ahead and get started to see what's coming up next. The first thing we want to make sure we understand is just this up here in the green box next to number one. When you multiply or divide each side of an inequality by the same positive number, the inequality remains true. This just simply means you won't switch inequality symbol. I go ahead and copy this down. Um, what is in the green box plus what I wrote in blue, okay? So go ahead and take time now to pause the video. Just what's in the green box, not everything else, okay? Once you're done, click play to go on. So I'm just going to see me try one or two, and then you're going to try a few on your own. It says solve x over 5 is less than or equal to negative 3, and then graph the solution. Remember, what, whenever we see division, we're going to use multiplication to solve it. That was another thing I forgot. Here's a quick reminder for you if you wanted to jot that down as well. If you see multiplication, you're going to use division to solve it. If you see division, you're going to use multiplication to solve it. Since we see division, we're going to use multiplication to solve. So here we go. Um, whenever we multiply and divide by 5, those are just going to cancel out. So all we're left with is x. Bring down this inequality symbol is less than or equal to, and then negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. Okay, so that's our inequality. The graph would look like this. We have negative 15 in the middle, negative 16 on the left, negative 14 on the right. This um, symbol is going to be closed because it says less than or equal to negative 15. So that means 15 is equal to it which means it can be a part of the solution. And then I'm going to point to the truth. Remember, if you just plug in um, x with one of the things on the number line, you can determine which is going to be true. Okay, um, negative, 15, negative 16 is less than negative 15, so I'm going to point to negative 16 on this one. Negative 14 is not less than negative 15, so I wouldn't point to that direction. Okay. So that's just a little remembering for you. Again, if you see multiplication, you're going to use division to solve it. I'm going to divide for this one and graph it. So x will be greater than negative 3 on my graph. I've got negative 3 right here in the middle, negative 4 to the left, negative 2 to the right. This one will have an open circle because 3 is not a part of the solution. And again, if I plug in my values, Negative 4 is not bigger than negative 3, but negative 2 is bigger than negative 3, so I'm going to point to negative 2. Okay. What you're going to try now are three examples on your own. So go ahead and take time now to pause the video and try questions 2, 3, and 4. Once you're done, click play to check your work. Alright, so number 2, we see uh, multiplication, so I'm going to divide. So b is greater than or equal to 2 divided by 4, or 2 fourths, which is 0. 0.5. And then graph it. I've got 0. 0.5, maybe I'll put 1 and then 0. Um, it is greater than or equal to, so I'm going to color in the circle over the 0. 0.5, because that means it's equal to. And 1 is greater than 0. 0.5, so I'm going to point to the 1. For number 3, again, we have division that we're going to use to solve. Actually, all these are division, that's okay. K is less than or equal to negative 2, because negative 24 divided by 12 is negative 2. My graph will have negative 2, negative 1, and negative 3. I'm going to have a closed circle again. And what is less than negative 2? Negative 3 is less than negative 2, so I'm going to point to the truth that way. For number 4, one more time, I see two, uh, multiplication, so I'm going to use division to solve. These 2.5s cancel out. Q, still bringing down my same inequality. So negative 15 divided by 2.5 is negative 6. Um, now I've got this inequality. Q, negative 6 is less than Q. Remember, if it's switched around, you can rewrite it. So if you rewrote it, it would look like this. Q is greater than negative 6. If not, you still should be able to find the correct answer, okay, just by plugging in your values. Is 6 less than negative 7? Or is negative 6, sorry, less than negative 5? Negative 6 is less than negative 5, so we just, we need to point to the right there, to negative 5. Okay, how did we do? 
The next thing that we need to write down is whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, your inequality symbol will be reversed. Okay, so I'm going to skip this page because we're going to write down something else on the next page. This is what you're going to be writing down. When solving an inequality by multiplication or division and you multiply or divide by a negative number, you must flip the inequality symbol. All right, you can watch me do these and then um, press pause, but notice how there's a negative with the variable. When there are negatives with the variable, that means you will flip your symbol, okay? Because this is essentially what's happening. I am going to have to divide by a negative 3 here. So that means this will need to flip to a, instead of greater than, less than. And then I solve. 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3, okay? So notice how I have to flip whenever there's negatives with the variable. Again, same thing over here. To solve it, I have to multiply by a negative, multiply by negative 3. C is flipping greater than or equal to positive 27. Because you are multiplying and dividing by negatives, it switches around the inequality truth statement, I guess, um, because of your multiplication division rules. So you have to make sure that you do that, okay? Go ahead and take time now to pause the video, copy everything you see on this page, and then click play once you're ready to go on to try some questions. So here's one that we're going to try. Notice how the negative is with the variable. Um, I am going to be dividing by negative 3 halves. Okay, 6 divided by negative 3 halves. So remember, whenever we're actually dividing fractions, we actually do a copy dot flip. So copy 6 over 1 dot and then flip to be negative 2 thirds. I'm going to come back over here. Those 3 halves are going to cancel out to where I'm getting in in. I am going to go ahead and flip this inequality symbol to be just be the opposite. Instead of less than or equal to, it's going to be greater than or equal to. And then over here, 6 divided by negative 3 halves, or 6 times negative 2 thirds, that's going to give me negative 12 over 3, which is equal to negative 4. So n will be greater than or equal to negative 4. When I graph the solution, I got negative 4, negative 3, and negative 5. I'm going to have a closed circle pointing to the right because negative 3 is greater than negative 4. You are going to try these. So let's go ahead and pause. Try them. Once you're done, click play. So number 6, we're seeing division. So we're going to use multiplication to solve. Since we are multiplying by a negative number, we will need to flip. So that will change to a less than when we have x, negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. x is less than 12. So I'm going to have an open circle pointing to the left. Okay. For this one, I am going to divide by negative 2 fifths. These cancel out. Go ahead and flip that symbol to be greater than or equal to. Remember, we have to do copy that flip here since they're fractions, so I'm going to go up here. Negative 8 over 1 times negative 5 over 2. That's going to be 40 over 2, which is equal to 20. H is greater than or equal to 20. 20, 21, and 19. Colored in circle, pointing to 21, because 21 is greater than 20. The last one, again, go ahead and try by yourself. So let's pause it. One more time, reminder, you're dividing by a negative, so you do have to flip that sign. All right, let's go ahead and check. So we got to divide by negative 3. So Z, those cancel out. I am going to flip my sign to make it less than. So I have Z is less than. And then 4.5 divided by 3, it's going to give us positive 1.5. Put 1.5 here open circle pointing to the left. Okay, that's going to conclude our notes for today, so just make sure you have everything completed. Rewatch the video if you need to, and we'll catch you next time.